I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the boss fights in the Theater of Pain dungeon in Shadowlands. This one's a 5 boss instance with the entrance found here in Maldraxxus. Necrolord players get a bonus in the Theater of Pain. They can click special banners to get the Necrolord's chosen buff, giving them and nearby allies versa and movement speed for 5 minutes. On beta, there were 3 available banners in the dungeon. Our first fight is the Affront of Challengers, and this is a council fight. We got three bosses, you fight them all at once, and you're free to focus them down one at a time. There's no shared health or kill them together mechanics here. The kill order may depend on your group comp. Each boss has an extra mechanic that they use when they reach 40% health, so maybe don't do that to all three at once. Desia is our tank buster, and she's going to use mortal strikes and slams on her target. At 40% health, she'll enrage, which gives her an absorb shield, slows her down, and she'll fixate players at random. Run away, finish her off, and if you have a druid, they should be able to soothe off the enrage. Papa Plague over here casts Plague Bolt, which is just flat damage to random targets, kick that if you have kicks to spare. He'll drop pools under players, so move away from the swirls and then watch where you drop them. At 40% health, he'll use Genetic Alteration, which puts a disease on everyone. While diseased, you drop pools every 8 seconds. Make use of any disease cures your group has, and otherwise just put your pools out of the way. Sathel also has a random target bolt, again kick if you can. Searing Death is a pulsing AoE that'll go onto a random target. They just need to get a little space and wait it out. Satchel will also buff the other bosses with Spectral Transference, which makes his damage heal them. It's very hard to miss because while it's up, the world's biggest beam connects them. Any offensive magic dispel can take that buff off, and if you somehow don't have any offensive dispels, you should probably kill Sathel first. At 40% health, he'll use one with death to get a 30% absorb shield and become immune to interrupts for 30 seconds. On Mythic, you'll have one more challenger popping in around the edges. You don't need to kill her, just survive her while dealing with the rest of the fight. Zira the Underhanded will ambush players at random with opportunity strikes, stunning them for 10 seconds and channeling damage. Stop the channel with a stun of your own or potentially other full CC to make her retreat. On beta, just a knockback did not work, so you probably need like a full loss of control CC. Next up is Gorchop, and this boss is straight to the point. Hateful Strike is our standard issue tank slap. For tenderizing smash, he's going to grip you in and you gotta run back out. Meat hooks will swing through the room. You need to find the gaps and then dodge the hooks to avoid getting bled. The hooks will bring in oozing leftover adds, who lose 5% of their health per second. Those will jump onto players with an AoE thrash, and then drop pools when they die. Stay a bit spread while the adds are up, and try not to cover the whole floor with their death pools. You need space to dodge hooks. Zav the Unfallen is next. He'll aim a brutal combo at his tank, which does increasing melee damage over its duration. Maybe mitigate just the end of it. Oppressive banners will spawn and slow you down, kill those. For Might of Maldraxxus, he'll use three different abilities in a random combo. There's an AoE interrupt stomp with a knockback, there's a frontal cleave, and there's a line attack. They're all very big, but very telegraphed, so just pay attention and move. Blood and Glory is the famed duel mechanic, and it's great. Two DPS will be spirited away to duel in glorious combat. Both will take stacking increased damage to make sure it's over with quickly. The winner gets a damage buff, the loser gets a damage debuff, and if nobody wins within 45 seconds, both players get a debuff, so just leave your friendship at the door. Serious groups will prioritize people for the buff, whereas in fun groups you can argue about it and then settle the matter in blood. Next up is Kaltharok. He'll stay parked in the middle, but the tank's gotta be there in melee to avoid getting spectral reached. Little puddles of grasping hands will spawn in the room, keep out of those. He'll put Phantasmal Parasite on a few players, which is a magic debuff that pulses AoE. Spread out a little and wait for your very nice and very talented healer to dispel you. Draw Soul will stun two players for a few seconds and then spawn a running soul with their models. Once you can move, you need to catch your soul to get it back. You get a nice damage buff when you get it, you get mind controlled if you don't, and you cannot attack or cast until you get it back, so you've really got nothing better to do than to chase the thing. There's no need to click it or anything, just running into it will do. And our last boss is Mordritha, the Endless Empress. She'll use Reaping Scythe, which sounds like a cleave, but it just hits the tank. Grasping Rifts will spawn and drag players towards them, fight the pull. Dark Devastation is a giant rotating death beam that I personally recommend that you avoid. I tried it and it's bad for your skin. Manifest Death does dot damage to everyone and a 6 yard AoE around them when it falls off, so loose spread. When it drops, each one spawns an ad that needs to be kicked and killed. At 50% health, Mordrotha will use Echoes of Carnage. 
that does some initial damage, starts a dot on everyone that lasts basically forever, and begins the ghostly combatants. You'll see them in two forms. When they're battling each other like this, it's pretty easy to stay clear of them. When they spawn on the edges though, they're about to run through the arena and you definitely want to dodge that. Again, I checked. And that's the Theater of Pain. I've got more boss guides on my channel if you need them, and a Twitch stream if you like those. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.